we're back today with the last and final chapter of King of Butterfly, you guys. It is the end of an era and I can't even begin to tell you how sad I am but also excited to start another story with you guys but also sad to end the story because I love Della and Finn and Venus and Dean and Kate and Jose and Diana. There's so many of them. I love them all. They're so cute. And yeah, now we have to see what other stories uh, we have as a continuation of the Shirley Family Mafia series, right? Let me know in the comments if you know um, which ones I'm missing because I haven't really looked in her profile for any new ones yet, but I'm going to take a look after I finish this chapter. So as you can see today, I have no cats with me because Middens is an angry little surplus and Lord Byron is sleeping, so I don't want to wake him up and bother him. But I do have a stuffy nose, so if I sound a little weird, that's why. Um, I think you may be able to hear it slightly in the camera. I never know if I can hear it or not because in my head, I can hear it. It, feel, it sounds so different, you know what I mean? Like when you have a, a sore throat or a stuffy nose, you can when you talk other people may not notice it but you can realize it's there so you think everyone's noticing it so that's where I'm at right now anyway I started using this amazing uh, tinted CC cream that is Korean and I'm obsessed with it because lately you know it's getting hotter I don't want to wear like heavy foundation or makeup or anything and when your skin is not too bad you don't need a lot of coverage this CC cream is awesome so if you guys want to know what it is let me know in the comments below and I'll let you know but so far I'm really pleased with it. Like it doesn't, you know, get shiny or oily. It's a really nice consistency and it's like a cream, obviously. And I think it's like medium coverage. And also it starts off white and then changes to your to match your skin color. Well, hopefully it matches my skin color. I mean, my neck and face pretty much, I think, are one color. Hopefully, hopefully my face is not orange and my neck is white, you know? That would be bad. That would be awful. Um, I don't claim to be a makeup guru or anything, but I've always loved makeup and been like, you know, a fan of it and it's, I always find it um, like an artistic expression of myself so um, I don't like it when people are like mm, I don't like it when a girl wears too much makeup or when, or when a guy or a person like judges people for wearing too much makeup like it's just um, it's none of your business first of all it's to each their own and if you want to wear makeup wear makeup if you don't want to wear any makeup don't wear any makeup whatever makes you happy right sometimes I want to go crazy and I want to do like Halloween makeup every single day sometimes I don't want to wear anything and I go out looking you know bare face natural as long as there's sunscreen make sure you wear sunscreen because sun is damaging so yeah go with how you feel don't listen to other people but if you guys want to know what the tinted uh, cream is let me know and I'll let you know maybe I'll do a little short on it and show you what I'm using and what it looks like before and after so yeah let me know in the comments below anyway now we're finally gonna continue the wonderful story that is King's Butterfly chapter 27 this is Lord Byron's Instagram my Instagram our TikTok give this video a like and let's go Oh, the cliffhanger where Finn ruins Kate's proposal. Will you marry him, Della? Oh my God, Kate is gonna punch him. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. I couldn't help but cry. Will you? Will you make me a happy man and be my wife? Say yes. What are you waiting for? Marry him. Della, I... Uh... Hurry up before I change my mind, Della. Yes, yes, 100 times yes. Oh, yay, I thought she would say no, honestly. I promise to make you the happiest girl in the entire world. Well, okay, if you say so. Well, Score. I'm not feeling well. Come with me, love. Aww. She needs to give him a little, a little pick-me-up. Finn, you are my whole world. Even if I marry Kate, nothing will change between us. I promise. What if you make a baby or two? Or, or two? Wow. Then I will need your help to look after them. For the time being, you have nothing to worry about, my love. I'm not ready to get pregnant yet. All the married couples make babies on the honeymoon. They do at some point, but I'm not ready yet. I'm really young. Promise? I promise with all my heart. Once I decide to get pregnant, you'll be the first to know. Okay. Why did you change your mind? Because Kate makes you happy. He's kind to us. I'm sorry. No, I'll never forget to Tonight. You made it special. Kid, I'm mad at you. Same. Even if she marries you, Della's mine. Here, here, little man. <laughs> Congratulations, guys! Aw, right as like a new bestie. Come here, sweetheart. I'm extremely happy for you. I feel like the happiest person in this whole story is my grandma because she really wanted Kate for herself. <laughs> Me too, Grams. Aw. Come, guys, they need some privacy. I want to stay with them. No, go home. Finn, I have an idea. Why don't we go and see Dad and Kylie? She makes the best cookies. Yeah, Finn, I need some sugar in my body. I need energy to keep up with you. What are you two up to? You're too young to know, kid. Kate, stop it. Oh my gosh. We will stay here a bit longer, love. Okay, I'm watching you. We'll keep Finn busy. Take your time. Thanks, Grams. You're the best. Come here, baby. I love you. I love you too. Aw, yay. 
What? A helicopter? Whoa, what's going on? All right, all right, just in time. A helicopter? What are you up to? I want to make sure you'll never forget tonight. Where are we going? I have a surprise for you. Follow me. Is he going to show us our house? What a day. Your dad is insane. He's making us sleep separately. Thank God he didn't take our phones too. Can I sneak into your room? Jose! What? I had to try. He likes you. I beg to differ. You're still here. Believe me, he does. I'm watching the door in case he tries to enter in the middle of the night and choke me while I sleep. <laughs> I love. Don't be silly, love. Give him time. Jose, what are we going to do? Dad made it clear that I can't move to Spain. Stop worrying, baby. I'm staying here. We can move together to Kate's house for the time being. Aww. Are you serious? Why not? The house is empty. There's no reason for him to stay here anymore. Will he agree? I'm not giving him a choice. I won't leave you. That's love. Jose, he wants you there. I want you more. Sneak into my room. Thank Fork. Be right there. Oh, you just want her over. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Where do you think you're going? I love him. He's just standing guard there. <laughs> to get a glass of water? The kitchen's downstairs. Move. Fork my life. Oh, wait. Is that her mom? Is she actually sick? Sorry, I feel like that was painful and loud. Time for your medication, madam. Leave it on the nightstand. How are you feeling? Close the door, I want to rest. If you need anything, ring the bell. Rest well. She's actually sick. I think we should call her relatives. I don't think they know how critical her condition is. Nobody will come to see her. Either way, they have the right to know. Do as you wish, but she deserves to be alone after all she did. How does this guy know? Do you know what happened? Why is she all alone? Yeah, I worked for her for over 30 years. I feel sorry for her, but she made her bed with her own hands. It's time for her to sleep in it. She doesn't have much time left. At least she'll die rich. That's all she's ever wanted. Wow, doctor. You're tough. Hey! Hi guys! You look lovely! So do you! Are we ready to go? Wait, I forgot my passport. I have your passport! Come on ladies! Did you just call me a lady? Did I? Be nice baby, you promised me. I'm trying. I don't like your boyfriend. Nobody's asking you to like me. Some things never change. I agree. Ooh, are they calling Della? Grams, we're about to go to the airport. Okay dear, Alvaro will pick you up. Hurry up, we can't wait to see you all. Thank you Grams! I just spoke with Cade. They're coming back in a few days. Where did they go? I have no idea, but I'm sure Della will tell you everything when she's back. Fair enough. See you in a few hours, Grams. Baby, how are we going to survive the summer holidays together? I don't like it one bit. Just breathe. Things will be more pleasant once we get to Della. Ooh, she's happy because remember, she's our number one fan. When we told her she was cute, she was so happy. Oh, purple's so her color. They're clearly resting. And now they're swimming. And now they're kissing and smooching and having a romantic little getaway. Italy looks excellent on you, my delightful fiance. I agree, seems like a dream. I'm gonna say, I agree. I might burst from all this happiness. When did you plan all of this? I have no clue. If you're happy, then so am I, simple as that. I love you so much. I think that I'm the happiest person in the world. Strange, isn't it? No, you deserve to be happy. Can we get married next summer? What, why do we have to wait that long? What about next week? I have a lot of planning to do. What's a rush? What's a rush? I'm only going to be married once. Please don't rush our special day. I agree with the first part of your sentence. As you wish, my love. Where should we have the wedding? On a private beach. I want a traditional wedding on a private beach because she loves a beach. I want us to get married on a private beach. Okay, what about a carriage with two horses in front? Yes, please. I have several dresses in mind that are excellent for the beach wedding. I'm sure you do. The cake will be made of cupcakes. Do you have everything planned out? Yep, I wanted to propose once you came back to England. You beat me to it. My little princess, you're something else. I also know how my sass the underwear will look too. Keep going, you have my attention. Lace and silk, backless, see-through, and delicate to the touch. We skip the wedding, baby. Shall we see if the water in the hot tub is warm enough? I'm boiling already. Me too. Ugh, oh, chemistry is hot. We spend the rest of our days in Italy at Kate's holiday house. It's been so long since we spent this much time alone together, so we didn't bother to go out much. The house is a private beach, a spa, and a huge cinema. It's a perfect holiday house. What makes this house the most special is the man next to me. That's right, I'd be happy too. Breakfast in bed? He treats me like a queen. Breakfast in bed. Afternoon full body massage. Dinner's on the beach cooked by his Italian chef. I thought he was gonna cook for us. Boo. And romantic showers? Steamy nights. Am I in heaven? The only thing I need is lots of energy to keep up with him. He's a darn machine, ready to explore every part of my body like I'm an exotic sanctuary. I love the way she said that, very poetic. I'm ready to be his wife, to spend the rest of my days by his side. For the first time in my life, I have no misgivings. He's the ideal man, he's the one, my soulmate. I promise, even if I live another life, I will still choose him against all the odds and venture. I don't mind what he does for a living, nor that he's a mafia boss, as long as he's the same marvelous man for me. Fork everyone who thinks otherwise. Good. 
I mean, I don't think your mom's any better than him, to be honest. What are you doing, baby? I'm thanking the universe for the blessing you are. That is what I do each morning when I first open my eyes. I thank the universe for the most amazing woman in the entire world. Thank you. No, baby, thank you for staying by my side all this time. Yours forever. Yours as many lives as we shall live. It seems like a dream. She's my fiance, my first love. I realize that even if you have everything, it will not make you as fortunate as love can. My perfect girl, my butterfly. She flies above everyone with grace, elegance, and kindness. Yet she always returns home. Her wings shine brighter than the stars yet she found her calm next to me. You better treasure this butterfly. Two years later, wedding day. Two years? Um, I guess I look amazing. She looks perfect. We're not gonna change her in the end, you know? Her hair's unique to her. What do I wanna wear, A-line wedding dress? Ooh, that's gorgeous on her. Let's see, elegant wedding dress? No, I don't like that with her hair at all. Mermaid, ooh, that's gorgeous on her as well. Mm, maybe, maybe, mm, nope, don't like it. Don't like that either. I think I like this one. Yeah, let's do it, perfect. <gasps> Finn is older, obviously. I'm looking at her and my hands are shaking. My heart is small and my pulse is quieting down. She's indeed the most beautiful bride. I said I will never share Della with someone else, but I was wrong. Della is not mine. I'm grateful for being able to have her by my side. She's my mom, my sister, and my friend, but Della belongs to Della. I will make sure she only thinks about her happiness before anyone else. I know Kate wants the same thing. That's why I'm happy for them. Oh my gosh, he's so cute, guys. He's so mature and he knows what to do. For the first time, I understand that family means to be next to each other and enjoy the simple things in life. For that, I need to be independent and to do the things I love the most so I can make everyone around me fortunate. Yes, you do. You earned it, little guy. Our biological mother died alone of cancer. We found out when it was too late. We went to her grave and thank her for giving birth to us. Because of her, we're alive and grew stronger together. We forgave her for all the bad. We hope she can find peace wherever she is now. Even if the pleasant moments together were only a few, we will remember them. We erase the past. We need closure to move on with our lives. Aww. I was wondering about that. They think I don't notice anything around me, but they're mistaken. All this time, I've been deceiving from the world and live in one I built for myself. But I see everything. I see how Venus and Dean love each other. I mean, that's obvious. How much he cares for her. I see how her eyes glow when he enters the room and how kind he becomes around her. They are right together and I respect them for staying next to us during the bad and good. I notice that dad is a changed person since he married Kylie. She's a great person who helped him all this time, stood by his side when no one else did. We love Kylie and I know she loves us too. Jose and Dean run the family business together in England. Diana somehow convinced her father to let her move in with Jose. He agreed with one condition. The house should be next to his to keep Jose under watch. <laughs> That's so cute. He still gives Jose a hard time, but Jose is madly in love with Diana and he does not want to kill the poor man. I'm just kidding, not. They visit us each month. Diana's over the moon when she comes to our house because she can sleep peacefully with Jose in the same room. Do not ask me the reason why I have no idea. Yeah, because we still don't, he still doesn't know the naughty parts. Tristan proposed to Nicole last week and she surprised him too with a baby. Yes, you heard me right. Nicole is pregnant. Tristan fainted right before she could say yes. <laughs> Hilarious. Now, this is what I call a surprise. I feel like Finn is a little devious. Nicole and Tristan have been together since I can't remember. It was about time. Congratulations, Nicole, for dealing with the most difficult man. You got this, girl. Okay, Finn is the best cheerleader ever. Miles told Della that she was his first crush. They laughed so hard because she had no idea. Dad hired him as a family lawyer. I think Dad wants someone who can trust to follow his steps once he retires. Oh, Miles. We have lots of work to do. Grams and Jane are still living together. We all love Jane. She's my second mom and I know she will stay with us until the very end. We cannot imagine our lives without Jane. Grams is the same old, same old. She's insanely obsessed with Kate. We knew that. Oh well, some things never change. Della signed the documents of heritage last year. Believe it or not, she's the richest girl in Spain. The first thing Della did when she got the money from Grams, she bought a private plane bigger than Kate's. She went too far and wrote her name on it for the world to see. Yes, Della, do whatever you like. After all, you're the queen of Spain. After she wasted a few million on a plane, she started doing charity. Well, it's Della we're talking about. I saw that coming. Graham's got involved too. Helping others is what Della's good at, and she's doing it with all her heart. Aww. Raina received her shares back, and now she's supporting the family. Good, finally. She likes to be a boss lady, and as much as I don't want to admit it, she's very good at her job. When she's not busy being bossy, she likes to annoy me, and she's pretty good at that too. Oh well, I'm the one who bought her first pair of trainers. I bet she's thankful for the gesture. She needs comfortable shoes to run the world, right? 
Oh, I love that phrase. You need comfortable shoes to run the world. Alvaro moved to Russia as a business expanded and Kate needed someone to tr he trusted over there. He loves the Russian woman, so I would guess he likes it there a bit too much. As for me, well, I still have therapy sessions every week and I'm still the best at my school and I'm starting to learn how to fight. I'm enjoying it more than I expected. I'm getting better day by day. I still find it hard to communicate with people sometimes, but I'll continue this journey. I started to accept that I'm special. There is nothing wrong with me. I'm different, but it feels good to be different. Good for you. How do I look? You are the most beautiful woman alive, sis. I'm nervous, Finn. Don't be. You have me by your side. That's true. Shall we? Yes, you shall. Beautiful wedding. Aww. They do. Ugh, that hair from the back is atrocious. I can't look at it. It just looks so bad. If this is a dream, don't wake me up. Our story started the wrong way and ended up the right way. She kidnapped my heart, soul, and mind, and I swear to God, it was faith. Everything happened the way it was supposed to happen. Together, we will conquer the world and nobody can take us down. We are DeSanto. Our name will stay at the top for many years. We'll make sure of it. The end? Oh, okay, our first dance. Cute. Oh, okay. This whole chapter is so cheesy, I love it. I mean, that's what we wanted, but all the ends got tied up. Is there some that we don't, like, that we didn't get an answer to? I don't think so. I think everything was pretty much resolved, right? Let me know if I missed something in the comments. And that is it for this marvelous story. I hope you guys enjoyed it because I did. What an adventure it was. It was a little more different than the other um, Mafia series that we've done. So yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'm really, really curious to know what you guys are thinking and let me know what videos, um, what stories you would recommend for me to do in the comments. So I will read all of them, don't worry. And I will check them and make sure that they match our channel because it's yours and mine. So yeah, let me know. Like I said, give this video a like. Like, subscribe to the notification bell and I will see you guys later.